mentioned, you know, you've got a book out, The Man from Belize. You're writing about spies. Um, why did you choose to do that? Why did you choose to sort of put pen to paper and, and, and write a spy story? Well, you know, it kind of stemmed. For, there were a couple of uh, motivating factors behind it. I spent a lot of time in school writing short stories that eventually evolved into uh, wanting to pursue screenwriting, which I did. And, you know, got a lot, got some recognition, you know, you enter these screenplay contests, you do well, you get to like the quarters and in a couple of case, three cases of mine, you get to the semifinals, but you're still just kind of pushing along because as I'm sure you guys know, the whole notion of screenwriting and the industry itself is extremely competitive where the whole writing angle is concerned. Mm -hmm. And so I had a couple of friends come to me who are also writers say to me, you know, Steve, the other thing about it is that when you write, you're very detail oriented and very visually oriented. You should really consider the possibility of kind of like exploring another facet of writing, which is doing a novel. And our mutual friend, you guys and I, our mutual friend, um, Bruce Civilly, mm -hmm. Bruce is my publisher. He was really the one that was imploring it upon me. I think more fiercely than anybody because he'd read some of my material and he said, no, Stephen, not only your love of film, but your love of the spy genre, you should kind of consider kind of creating your own world and not do it as a one and done, but do it more as something like could maybe have longevity, could maybe, you know, go the distance, God willing, maybe become a, a series and I said to myself, you know, one thing about it is that the great thing about you said, Scott, what was it about writing a novel that was intriguing was the idea that there it's kind of like it's free form. It's, you know, no limitations as far as like, oh, am I focusing too much on inner monologue? Am I focusing too much on art direction, locations? You know, the very sort of specific cues that I render when I establish an action sequence when i do a fight scene a shootout when i do a love scene i like to get very very into the nuts and bolts of every quote-unquote set piece that i write and i realize that in a novel i could do that mm. and i could do that and i could be unhinged and i could not have you know somebody looking over my shoulders saying oh i have these notes no 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 this is the way i kind of envision this world and so in answer to your question, the whole reason of wanting to pursue the conceit of tackling a novel was born out of A, wanting to explore with the medium as a writer, but B, wanting to hopefully create a world in my favorite genre that could perhaps hopefully have longevity. So the good thing about it is that I'm tied right now after Man from Belize, uh, Bruce's basically already signed me to do a trilogy so it's going to be at least three books but hopefully there will be more i will uh, i will continue uh cam and i's cam and mine's effort to be included in a spy story so if you want to include a, a very inept canadian and british spy in the background they get blown up by an explosive shoe or something like that it would be uh, very much appreciated and very on brand right <laughs> Maybe like the Q branch room or something where we just we're like getting we get folded into a sofa or something. Well, it's funny you say that because there is a kind of quartermaster of sorts in the man from Belize. And uh, he's definitely very, very greatly inspired by Desmond Llewellyn, both in look and in attitude. So, uh, yeah, you never know. Well, you, you've teased us now. There's two more on the way. So look out for that, folks. 